Good evening, YouTube. I'd like to read you a poem by singer-songwriter and poet Rod McEwan. Now, for those of you who don't know, and he's not very well known over here in the UK, Rod McEwan, and I quote, was born in Oakland, California in 1933 and grew up in California and Nevada. Washington and Oregon. He's worked as a labourer, a film actor, a stuntman, a radio disc jockey, a newspaper columnist, and as a psychological warfare scriptwriter during the Korean War before becoming a best selling author. He's nearly had as many jobs as I have. I've had the pleasure of seeing Rod McEwen in concert in a town not far from here called Swindon many years ago. I think I was probably in my late teens when I went to see him with my mother. And the most amazing thing about that concert was his final song. I remember he threw away the microphone and just stood on the stage and sang. And it didn't matter where you were sat in that auditorium. You could hear his voice so clearly. It was brilliant. And what I'm going to read you today is my most favourite poem of his. The Art of Catching Trains. I came through the clothesline maze of childhood in basketball shoes. Up from the cracked cement of sidewalks, long hair blowing in the breeze from barber college haircuts. I moved into the country knowing love better than long division. Tricking out with women twice my age, we acted out our own French postcards. Dr. Jacqueline schoolyard. Mr. Hyde behind the barn. After school, the trains. Their whistles known by heart. Pennies flattened on a rail and dresser drawers with matchbooks from every northern town, thrown by unknown travellers who never waved back. I knew the UP right of way so well that Gandhi dancers called me Toehead till they learned my name. And engineers would sometimes whistle down the scale on seeing my arm raised. Baseball's just a sissy game to anyone who's waved at passing trains. You learn from hobos the art of catching trains. Locomotives slow at trestles and whistle stops to hook the mail. And diving through an open boxcar, you lie there till your breath comes back. Then standing in the doorway, you're the king, as crowns of hills and towns go by. And nighttime eats the summer up and spits the stars across the sky. How did I come to know so many lonesome cities, with only pennies in my pocket? I smiled a lot and rode a lot of trains and got to know conductors and railway bulls by name. From Alamo to Naples is a ride that took me nearly 20 years. But here I am, my cardboard suitcase traded in for leather. Now a traveller under the grey black winter sky Moving down the mountain by torchlight, I've come to find a gathering of eagles. Not for the sake of mingling with the great birds, but only to justify a thousand streets walked end to end. Ten thousand evenings spent listening to the small sounds of the night in station after station. Not every town in Switzerland has a golden gondel bon. But there are other ways to climb the hills and reach the lonesome cities of the world. Riding friendly bodies 
you can inch your way to heaven, let alone to the far side of the room. And who deny that brushing elbows in certain streets has not produced for every man at least one vision of Atlantis? For me, old habits don't break easily. I wait for trains. Sometimes I feel I've always been just passing through, on my way away or toward, shouting hallelujahs in an unseen choir or whispering fados down beneath my breath, waiting for an echo, not an answer. Everybody has the answers or they make them up for you. Just once, I'd like to hear a brand new question. What about the trains you ride? Do they go fast or slow? Would I recognize your face clacking past the poplar trees if I was stationed on some hill? If I did, I'd know you by the look of nothing in your eyes, the kindred look that travelers have. The one that says, a tentative hello. If riding down the rails, you see a boy in overalls along the railroad right away, wave as you go by. Signal with a frown that you too are going down the same road. Small boys need encouragement. The freight trains of their minds will only take them just so far. Be kind, for small boys need to grow. Rod McEwen.